You know, a lot of people, they come to Mimico looking for a house. They know they love the area, but they're not sure why. They're not as clear on the streets. They're not as clear on the areas. Well, what I can tell you about today's listing is that we're on Victor Avenue, one of the most prestigious and beautiful streets in all of Mimico, in prime Mimico by the lake. You're gonna have to check it out for yourself, but once you step foot on a street like Victor, you'll know there's barely any comparison. Hello Mimico fans, it's Mimico's favorite realtor and today I have something for you supremely special. Why so special Mike? Well let's talk about a new build on a big beautiful lot and on a prestigious street. So often we're seeing these new builds but they're picking them up on the less expensive streets, the less sought after streets. But not today, not at 61 Victor. Behind me a newly built beautiful over 2,000 square foot home with four bedrooms, four bathrooms and and 4,000 reasons to fall in love. But don't take my word for it. Let's go inside and check it out. Coming inside and guys, right away, your heart melts with adoration for this property. Wait till you come and check this out in person. So right away, I'm coming into this gorgeous foyer. I got a subtle and modern tile in here, two by one, beautifully stacked in a modern pattern. I'm seeing right up into that staircase upstairs. And of course, I'm seeing right back into that great room and into the yard. Loving the spaciousness of this foyer. You can see right away, moms, dads, tons of room for strollers, tons of room for bench seating, tons of room for hooks and all that stuff. Now these people, this is truly how they live. This is how neat and tidy they are and this is how minimalist they choose their lifestyle to be. The most important piece of that is you can see the care and detail that's gone into maintaining this home and keeping it in pristine condition. So, tons of room here at the foyer. Where do I put my coat? How about in the perfect spot ever? Check this out. So coming in here, we have kind of a mud room set up. Entrance from the garage, which is obviously the entrance that owners will most often use. Right across from that, a large front hall closet, and to the side, that perfect powder room. So, tons of room, beautification at the front of the property, feeling very stylish and kind of presentable for when you have guests. Put that storage right over here off to the side with the bathroom, with the entrance that you're gonna use right off your garage. I love that. That's top notch form and function and that's what I'm after myself when I'm looking for the right property. Let's see the rest of this bad boy. Oh, guys, this is one of the best main living spaces I've ever seen in Mimico, bar none. Check this out, perfect division, but open concept. Loving these stylish features, like this three-sided fireplace. I love this curtain wall of light and glass, bringing in that nature, bringing in that oversized yard. Yes, guys, this lot is extra deep and you're gonna feel that from inside the house and certainly when you're outside in that backyard. Ample room in here, guys, to do every single thing your family needs. Check out even the storage here behind this massive living family room. We got room for built-in storage, a wet bar, a playroom. I know lots of us were parents. We got our nice space for adults. Of course, there's tons of room in the basement here for kids and stuff, but we need that little setup for the kids' kitchen and the kids' toy box. We'll look at all the storage and the space that we could have right here. Tons of utility to this space. Of course, massive sectional couch in here, wrapping around, getting all that natural light and those good feels, and that perfect spot for the big screen TV. This is how we live, guys. We're functioning in a big family space. We're relaxing, we're cooking, we're eating. Everything is happening in one big family room, guys. That's what you're after. That's the feels. That's the life we all want, and of course, it's completely complemented by this backyard so that in the summer, this can spill out into the yard and they can complement each other. Look at all the space in here. I love these windows on either side of the television, but of course, you could bump this out with some built-ins. Right now, it's perfectly sleek and minimalist. All the cords and stuff perfectly hidden behind the television. So if you're a neat freak and you wanna see the TV perfectly displayed, you got the setup here at 61 Victor. And we got this gorgeous wide plank, white oak flooring throughout the house, totally premium. You feel it on your toesies, no squeaks, no creaks. Perfect floor for a modern, timeless house like 61 Victor. Let me show you this kitchen. 
This kitchen is the perfect combination of the masculine and feminine. Just check this out. Beautiful darker countertops here on this island. We got some beautiful function in here that I'm gonna show you. Look at how it now complements this softer, more feminine white Carrera marble countertop going perfect with this cabinetry. Little touches, so nice pencil line kind of craftsman style cabinetry here, that ideal timeless look, but then they've gone one step further and added these crystal handles that just give it that little bit of lighter femininity that ties it all together and makes it feel beautiful and expensive. Double undermount sink here, guys. Some incredible appliances in here we're gonna talk about. Miele cooktop here, Miele dishwasher tucked over here. We got a Gen Air oven built in into our island, nice and low, keeping those eye lines clean. And of course, we got the Sub-Zero fridge that everyone's dreaming of. Look at this. Very rarely do I open a fridge, but I can do it at 61 Victor, because you can see how perfectly clean and presentable this fridge is. And Sub-Zero, you know you're the one. Beautiful kitchen. So let's talk a little bit about function here, guys. These people have thought it out. Tons of storage up top, lots of drawers in here. Check this out, drawer storage here, drawer storage below our cooktop. Bring those pots and pans right up. I miss this stuff all the time. You don't get it in other properties, but you're getting that function here. If only it had a garbage drawer. Well, it does. Perfectly situated right here at the end of the island where you're gonna do your chopping and popping. And guess what? Push that refuse right into the bin. Close it up. And there's even an appliance nook over here that's being used for the microwave. Love seeing something like this tucked down below out of sight lines instead of having a big bulky appliance right on the countertops. I told you, these people are neat and tidy and they're minimalist. They wanted everything perfect and you're gonna see it displayed just so when you walk through this house in person. Check out this dining room, guys. It's the perfect built-in bench. This is actually a piece of custom furniture that is included with the purchase of the property, not the table, but of course the bench is gonna stay. We got storage cubby behind that when we go to the other side of the stairs, I'll show you the use of space. From here, I got an easy six-seater. You know what the bench and kids, we're gonna fit more people in if we need to. I got that view of the three-sided fireplace. I'm in the kitchen, I'm doing my homework while mom and dad get things ready, and I can see right into the backyard. There's such a perfect flow and vibe to this space, guys. You really have to get here and check it out yourself. Couple more things to bring up. Coffered ceiling here in this living room space with built-in speakers, pot lights. We got acoustic panels here across the back wall. They look like art, but they're actually there so that the movies and your music play so much better when you're sitting right here in your couch, relaxing after a long day at work. The flow of this space, ideal. Right out to the yard, which we're gonna check out in a bit. That little mud room tucked off to the side, off the garage, and of course that perfect foyer, so that when your guests walk into this space, they are blown away, guys. Let's check out this powder room, this garage, and then I'll take you upstairs and show you this second floor. I love this powder room, guys. It's situated perfectly to optimize the space. Tons of elbow room in there. Love this marble basket weave flooring that they've put in there. Super subtle, gonna stand the test of time, but gives you that little bit of expensiveness feel that we're all after to make a little bit of jewelry here and there to make the house feel extra special. And you're getting it in rooms like the powder room even at 61 Victor. Great light fixture, perfect kind of custom mirror. You're gonna love this space. And I love how tucked the way it is so that your guests can actually use this powder room and they're gonna feel that they have a little bit of privacy. And that's rare. Oftentimes, that powder room shoved into the main space and people feel like they wanna go upstairs or downstairs to use the loo during a party or a gathering. What's right here? How about a garage that's been converted into a badass gym? Now guys, I use the word badass and I use it correctly. Check out this space. These people, they're in amazing shape, and this is the room where it all happens. Check out the inspiration in here. Check out the spot to come in, do some chin-ups. Yeah! How many can I do? Yeah! 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 I haven't even warmed up. 
Okay, look at this. Rubber flooring in here, perfectly sloped outside. It's warm and toasty in here on a negative two day or something outside. Check out the wall space. I love this bit of inspiration here. Tons of storage up top. We got the bikes hanging up there. We got some of the Christmas ornaments and stuff all tucked away and it still feels awesome in here and inspirational. You could do squats in here, lift it over your head because we certainly have tons of height. Love the positioning here for this bike because you can still get your car in. And I just love these pops. I love that the central vac's in here but next to this sign and this Raptors logo, go wraps. This has all the feels. Makes me want to work out. Makes me want to get in shape. You know, I don't know if that's gonna happen anytime soon, but I'm inspired. I know you coming in here could see the utility and function of a space like this. Now, some people don't want a gym. Okay, you got a perfect garage with tons of height. You're gonna get a full big size car in here and you got that access to the house right into that mud room. It's a perfect situation. Now, of course, this is such a great neighborhood and such a great street. You're gonna open up this garage door and work out in here, wave to the neighbors, say, hey, maybe we should have a beer after work. Kids will play up and down the street and we'll hang out. And that's what we're after. If you're looking for a neighborhood where you can actually feel involved, you wanna feel important and that people got your back and that you got people's back, this is the neighborhood. Mimico has it. It's old world, it's new world, it's everything. We got the schools. I'm gonna get into that at the end of this, but guys, this garage is your access to that. I'm a garage guy. I would hang out in here all the time. Do with it what you will. It's a great garage. Have I said enough about the garage? Let's go inside upstairs and check out this four bedroom top floor with two beautiful bathrooms. You're gonna love it. Before I take you upstairs, let's stop for a moment and talk about the beauty and simplicity of stairs like this. Nice painted out, very simple details, very well built, expensive feeling, and yet subtle. Natural wood on top, matching the flooring throughout the house, that pop from the painted riser. It's just classic, guys. It's gonna be in style in 100 years, and it was in style 100 years ago. That's what I love about this house so much, and we're gonna talk about those touches of timelessness. Timelessness, it's thrown around, but if you really think about it, we buy so many things in our life that are in style and they go out of style and they're one day your favorite thing and you no longer want them and you kind of laugh at yourself. But in a house like this, because of the quality and because of the way that it's been designed, it's gonna be in style for years and years to come. You won't have to be spending money on upgrades going, what were we thinking when we did that? Remember when those were in style? You're gonna love it. It's here, it's ready to go, and it's ready to last. Come on, guys. I love these new houses, no creaks, no squeaks. Coming up, we got kind of a second hall foyer up here. Love this space, nice kind of built-in raised ceiling in here. Beautiful little side window, bringing in that extra light. And of course, I'm getting that light from the front of the house, right from the back, and there's a skylight in this hallway. Same beautiful wide plank hardwood floors, guys, and tons of room in here to function and move around. Big linen closet off here to my right. Extra deep, extra wide, gonna be super valuable here on the second floor. Of course, with four bedrooms, you're gonna want sheets and towels for four people. Behind the cameraman, I'll give you the lay of the land. We got a laundry closet, a big four-piece family bathroom, and three other bedrooms. Here, we have a principal suite that's gonna make you drool. Come check it out. Now this is all the principal bedroom you've been dreaming of. Vaulted ceiling in here, large principal ensuite, big glass windows in here, beautiful blinds that are gonna give you all the privacy you want so you can do whatever you need to do. Big walk-in closet and a secondary closet off to the right. Separate door here goes right out to our balcony so you can sit out and enjoy the main, most beautiful street in Mimico. Tons of room in here for the king size bed with the dressers, with the large side tables. You don't see a big cocktail chair like this in a bedroom if there isn't ample space. And certainly, there's ample space. Speaking of space, check out this walk-in closet. Oh, yes. I can hear my wife drooling from two blocks away, guys. Check this out. Tons of room for two people to have their very own closet space, and it's all tucked beautifully behind this solid wood door. 
big mirror here that the cameraman's trying to hide himself away from. But think about this, all this hanging space, room below, room below, drawers and all that stuff, storage for above, and it's equal on both sides so that two people can have their wardrobe perfectly displayed and you got tons of room to get it on and look great in this principal bathroom. Let me show you this little secondary closet before you feast your eyes on that. I love these double doors. It just gives you that grandeur that you're after when you're buying a home. You want it to feel prim. You want it to feel expensive. You want it to feel grand. You're getting that at 61 Victor. Speaking of expensive, here's a shoe closet. Doesn't have to be used for shoes, but check this extra storage out. This could be a secondary linen closet. This could be used for shoes and purses, whatever. But I know today's culture in Toronto, shoes are everything. So check out this shoe closet before you follow me into this principal bathroom. Loving this bathroom, guys. And again, that same kind of vibe of the masculine and feminine perfectly waltzing with each other. Nice kind of masculine feel to the tile, but more feminine features to the trim, to the vanity, to the mirrors, to the light fixtures, and certainly to this window covering, tying it all together so that so many people can fall in love. Again, those same timeless tones, things that are not gonna go out of style, things that were in style 10 years ago, and you're gonna be able to enjoy them for years to come without feeling like you bought something that's gonna quickly be outdated. Double sinks in here. Big, wide, two-foot tiles, nice height, that gorgeous window, perfect spot for your throne, and a custom walk-in shower. Check this out, cameraman. Awesome shower in here, room for more than one person. Love the drain in here, custom cutout drain, long, linear, rectangular drain. Perfectly trimmed out in black trim. Everything thought out in this bathroom, in this house, right down to these kind of built-in hideaway hooks. Guys, this is the ensuite we're all after in the principal bedroom with the walk-in closet that we've all dreamt of. And I haven't even shown you the other three bedrooms in bathroom on this floor before I take you downstairs and show you the massive basement that's finished with over eight foot ceilings. But don't get me started, just keep following. So I might as well stop you. What's better than second floor laundry for someone that does laundry? Nothing better. Check this out. Now what's so rare about this space, guys, because we see lots of laundry closets in these newer built homes, but they're not this deep. So I can actually get in here, close these doors, people can pass by in the hallway, and I'm not interfering with the living space on this second level. Tons of room up here with this folding platform. Love seeing that put in. Super smart to have the bar across so you can hang stuff right when it's come out of the dryer or the washer. And then you get all your kind of storage here. So it's all tucked away, neat and tidy. So indicative of the people that own this house. But again, so functional for everyone else who's gonna drool all over the space. Perfect laundry room. We might as well just check out this office since we're here. So I say office, but guys, this is totally could be used as a bedroom. It is a bedroom. It's got the window. It's got the double closet. But I love this as a workspace. One, look at the natural sunlight I'm getting in this room right now. What an incredible workspace. Everyone's working from home these days. You need that space. Well, there's many spaces to do that in this house. This is one of them. Really good size in here. I've sold the similar model of home in Mimico. And I can tell you, I had a double story trundle bed in this room in one listing. And there was more than enough room for the kid that lived in that room to have the ultimate lifestyle. This is a killer room. Check out these double closets behind the cameraman. Tons of storage in here. Rare to have double closets. In fact, in older homes, it's rare to have a closet at all. Big window, beautiful same wide plank flooring in here. No expense spared. Let's see another one of these bedrooms. I'll stop real quick. Look up at the sky. A lot of detail and work goes into putting one skylight in the middle of the house like this, but man, is it worth it to have that natural light in the hallway, bouncing off these wide plank floors, right off this bathroom. Great feature. Check out these bedrooms, guys. 
Another big, beautiful bedroom in here, guys. We got a queen size in here, two big side tables, bringing in that natural light. Same wide plank hardwood flooring, guys. I keep bringing it up, but it's rare to have that beautiful premium flooring run into every room. We're gonna talk about that trim. There's quality trim work done throughout this house. It was custom, it's not builder grade, and you're gonna feel it when you're in this house. We'll get a little insert of that stuff. Big double closet in here. Let's flip around so you can see it. Tons of storage, got room for a little shelf in here at that hanging bar, and tons of storage up top. Love the feel on these doors, they're not light hollow core doors, they're solid doors, and they add to the panache of the property. Great bedroom guys, let's see the one next door. Another great size bedroom in here guys, big window looking onto the yard, room for a queen size. Big side tables in here, and of course, that big double closet. Let's change places here. Really love these double closets in every room, not including the big walk-in, of course, but just ample storage. So often that closet space, the function of it all is overlooked, but not at 61 Victor. Speaking of space being overlooked, let's not forget this family bathroom here, one of two full-size bathrooms on this second level. Coming into this bathroom, guys, big oversized vanity, drawers, storage, really well thought out because the kids are gonna have that space so they can get ready for school. Great spot for our throne and a really nice kind of featured tub here with that custom glass. Love the setup. You can see this glass opens up so you can tub your kids. You got a nice piece of glass to work with instead of kind of a dirtier shower curtain setup. Everything's going this more modern way and again, Classic subway tile is going to be in style forever. Glass, been in style, always going to be in style. Nice subtle flooring in here and just the perfect kind of countertop. Little details, little pieces of jewelry throughout. Nice lighting fixture and of course a skylight. Bringing in that natural light but giving us supreme privacy. And of course my toesies are nice and warm because there's in-floor heating in here from New Heat which is one of my favorite heating floor companies. Let's keep going guys. Let's check out this lower level. So I'll note this door is a locking door. If you wanna lock the door, you got that opportunity. We come down to a little separate side platform here. Keypad door here. Really nice side entrance, guys. We'll get some shots of how well landscaped and graded that is. Right into our kind of bright secondary foyer here off the side. Love this little cubby here for shoes. We'll get a shot of that, Mr. Cameraman. These people have thought about how can we utilize and create function in all the little nooks and crannies of this house to really optimize our lifestyle. Things like this throughout that are really gonna make you feel at home and excited about living here. Let's go downstairs and check out this basement. So coming down here, I love this setup, guys, because it's a secondary foyer here at the bottom of the stairs. More storage and stuff for shoes. Huge cold room in here for tons of storage. Bikes, strollers, Christmas decorations, you name it, all can go in there. If you're, maybe you have someone living down in the basement, you could potentially, this is their storage or this is their overflow. But of course, if you're using this as a big family home, this is another storage space for you. Love seeing that. Beautifully tucked away behind this door is our panel. 200 amp services. Tell your dads and your uncles about that and they'll get excited. Nice big windows down here. And we got wide plank laminate flooring throughout, which is ideal for lower levels, but really showcase as well, as well as any flooring. You gotta check it out. Let's check out the rest of this lower level. Check out this space, guys. Ah! I love it. So these people, they've been using this as a nanny suite. They have friends come and stay from out of town and they wanted that secondary living space down here. Of course, if you wanna make this a legal basement apartment, you'd have to go to the city and do some permits and get some stuff put together to make sure you're following all the rules. But right now, it's set up this way so that if someone's living here with the family, they can overflow down into the basement and there's no problems using this space. Check out this spot for a big television. 
Big, huge couch could fit down here. Of course, if you didn't need this to be kind of a suite down here, man, would this make the optimal family room down here. Get that projector going, get that big sectional couch, all the toys, all the video games, the gym, everything could be down here because we have the space for it. And look at that ceiling height. One, two, three windows right here, four at the front, getting tons of natural light in here, reflecting off this laminate floor, very beautifully done. Check out this kitchen, guys. Very simple, but very well put together. Tons of drawers, drawers galore. And anytime you see drawers, I always make this comment, people have gone the extra mile. They've spent money on function. When you see just cabinets, the people have chosen to go with the cheapest option possible. Not here. Big, huge drawer, big, huge drawer. Six drawers here, another two big drawers. Nice big storage cabinet under here with the Lazy Susan and even drawers and stuff underneath the sink area. Nice, beautiful, sleek KitchenAid fridge over here. Lovely Electrolux glass cooktop stove here. Nice hood vent and just simplicity. I love the white cabinetry matching with the white countertops. It almost disappears and it really is complemented by this white glass backsplash. Someone had a design eye, that's for sure. Love these two pendant lights. Love this eat-in function here. Certainly four people could sit here and dine, no problem. And there's more storage over here. Big closet built in with some open shelving and more of a pantry with that tucked away microwave space. Now, if you want this to also function as a bedroom, we got it. Jeepers Murphy. It's a Murphy bed. Love that, tons of form and function there, guys. Think of this, think of your guests coming to stay out of town. Think if you have a parent here for the holidays or helping you with the kids or a nanny helping out. Man, is this ready to go. Love this space. And I haven't even shown you this fourth bathroom. Coming in this bathroom, guys, same timeless classic feels in here. Nice, simplistic, yet more expensive feeling finishes. Big oversized subway tiles in here, really nice height, nice soaker tub, great spot for a throne, yet this vanity has more of an expensive flair with the storage open shelving underneath and this quartz countertop on top. What do we have on the floor? We got that same kind of two by one modern tile, but very subtle, guys. It's gonna disappear, it's gonna grow with the ages, and of course, like the other bathrooms, it's warm and toasty because it has that in-floor heating. Boom, I love that in-floor heating. Okay guys, so before I take you upstairs and show you this awesome oversized yard, quick little glimpse, big storage cabinet here underneath the stairs using every inch for that form and function. And of course, our service room here, neat and tidy with another set of laundry guys with another wash basin. This is incredible. Two sets of laundry in a big house like this. I know if you're not gonna use this lower level for other people, you can certainly have two laundry stations. So if you're watching a movie down here, you can do laundry down here. If you wanna do some laundry upstairs, you got it. That is luxury, you know it, I know it, everyone knows it. Okay, let's go upstairs and check out this beautiful backyard. Coming out into this gorgeous backyard, onto this gorgeous terrace deck, call it what you will. Before I take you down into this beautiful yard, just check out this space, guys. This is the perfect spot to entertain while you grill. Think about this. Perfect place for the barbecue right outside the door. Love the way they've set this up. All your cushions and stuff tuck away under here, but also when you're grilling and you have guests over, you could put extra stuff here, platters. Of course, you're gonna have kind of an ottoman or a coffee table in here where you can put down drinks and all that stuff. Tons of room on this little terrace to kind of enjoy yourselves before even walking down into the yard. And if you need space, well, you definitely have it here. Check this out, guys. Tons of space in here. Now, this is a 35 foot deep lot. Most of the lots in Mimico are 120, 125. So that extra 10 feet really showcases itself 
back here. Of course, we're 25 wide, that's big and beautiful, and I love the modern fence. Fully fenced yards for you pet owners, for your little kid owners out there. Fully fenced, modern slotted fence. Great storage shed back here. I'm not gonna show you inside, but it's neat and tidy. Really well situated back here in the corner so you're not interfering with this whole house. And the walkway goes right out the gate, down that perfectly landscaped side yard and to the front. So your tenant or whoever's in the basement could access the backyard and they can access to the front and there's no worries of getting muddy or trampling or not having enough light. It's perfectly done all the way to the front, right to the back. Check this out, let's get a view of this yard. Looking back at this big, beautiful, timeless house here, 61 Victor, I'm feeling the feels. I'm ready for barbecue season. This is it. So, enough about the yard. Let's go out front, talk a little bit more about Mimico, this house, this exact location, and why you ought to give it some great consideration. So guys, it's no secret that I'm Mimico's biggest fan. And I'm not just saying that. I live here, I actually live two blocks away, and I dream about living on Victor. It's for very simple reasons. It's a Boulevard Street. By Boulevard Street, I mean it's extra wide. All the houses are set aback. We're gonna put some footage in there so you can see this. They're set back from the street. Big, beautiful lots. Large, mature tree canopy. And a very important piece no through traffic. Victor is not a through street, so it's mostly just people who live on the street, which makes it very safe, very quiet, and very enjoyable. From this very location, I can walk up to the GO train in five minutes. I can also be on the lake in five minutes. I can walk to shops, grocery stores, ice cream, you name it, all from this location, not even needing my car. If I need a car, well, I have parking for three cars. One, two in the driveway, and a third in the garage. Guys, Mimico has so much to offer, not just in amenities like the lake and the schools and the libraries and all the access to the city, but in the community. You walk around this neighborhood and you say hi to people. It's quiet, it's safe. There's so much going on. There's children running up and down the streets. It really feels like you're outside of Toronto while you're right in the heart of it all. But don't take my word for it. Come down, check out this property. For your agents unsure about why Victor's such a premium area or what Mimico by the lake is, reach out to me directly. We'll help you out, no problems, no questions asked. I love this community. You're gonna see why it's worth loving and why it's worth living right here 24-7, making Mimico your home. Not to mention, this house is incredibly built by Millennium Homes. I know this builder well. I've sold many of their homes and I've had many clients live inside their homes. They're a top-notch builder in South Etobicoke, in South Toronto. They do incredible work. They have great reputations. They're Tarion builders and they mean what they say. I stand by their stuff. You gotta come and check out this second to none, high-end custom built home that is only six years new. For now guys, I gotta get back inside and get to work. A few things to do before the listing goes live. You can hang out here, walk up and down the street, go for a walk by the lake. Doesn't matter to me, just get the heck out of here.